not afraid of anything. Uh, is your candy down to 20 or less? I'm 27 now. Okay. Sometimes your hands shake a little bit, and then you, you have to stop, and you're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I feel good. Uh, I promise. Pete, give, give me a psychology roll there, Pete. Yeah. Psychology. Yeah. Do I even have psychology? Oh, no. It's at base. Lovely. That's a spare, Pete. Everything's cool. <laughs> you wake up, it's like, let's meet breakfast. Then spells, breakfast spells. Breakfast gets delivered. You guys go ahead. If you want to uh, deplete your magic points, uh, I'm going to give the teaching staff and our role for the day of discover shit. Da, da, da. <laughs> we need to go to the spooky forest. I had a dream that I can be stopped by fear and I need to go all the way. And it's about the forest. I know it. I got stopped. You got stopped going to the forest? We were going to the forest and it was getting spookier and spookier and I was happier and happier. But then the people left me, first the one of them and then the other. And then I was alone and I, I, I turned back. Oh, okay. Yeah. They couldn't handle that? No. There's, some, there's something there that scares you, is there? Yeah, I, I try to, uh, there, there is some kind of man eater or something there, and uh, something hidden or something. It seems like somebody was trying to hide something. There was also dead kids, or one dead kid there. Okay. Oh, did you see the zombie um, scarecrows? Oh, no. Sounds cool. So, yeah, in the um, fields, mm -hmm. is, the scarecrows in the fields are um, zombies. Nice. So what is it, what's what's this weird dreams about? I had a weird dream now. Um, the one I've had is about the sleeper must awaken, mm -hmm. and also about the trice bound. Uh, what was it? Trice bound man or three locks? Mm. Yeah, the trice bound man. Yana, give me a, a memory roll for something. <laughs> Uh, Pete, the word you're looking for is thrice. Oh, thrice. thrice. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yes, thrice. Yeah, not twice. Thrice bound, man. I made yeah. it. Holy shit, Yana. You remember when you were trying to get into the dungeon with the lockpick gang? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was three locks on the dungeon door. Oh. Only one of them was picked, and then it got relocked because he couldn't mm. get the other two. I told this to Pete. Okay. No, really. There's he's doing, he's the doing a face palm, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yes. If only you or I knew how to pick locks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's, That's what makes it all the more funny for me. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder if that's to do with the painting. Yeah, maybe. Saw. Maybe we could just like get ourselves somehow to the uh, jail again, but to the right jail. Yeah, yeah. All well, that would be a way of getting in here, but then we just need then we'd need to get out of a cell. Yeah. Well, you're currently in a cell already, so you are halfway <laughs> through with your plan. Yeah, we, we are so good at this. Well, well let, also, let's see. Let's the, see the how guard, well the guard doesn't take care to take away the spoons and stuff. So if you want to jury rig those somehow into lockpicks and then use these lockpicks, which would give you a negative to your lockpicking, a skill you neither of you have, in order to lockpick your cell door to get out, you could totally blow this popsicle stand. Mm. Is he still <laughs> Is he still there, the guy? Uh, no, he pretty much dropped off your food and uh, silverware and stuff and then took off because, and he goes, no gate spells, and then he wandered off. Good. Well, you oh, guys are not chained up. Because no. he's, he, he, he's pretty confident in his ability to take on two 12-year-olds and win. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a fully grown, kind of burly-ish, fattish kind of guy. And, you know, plus, he, he's not he's not a horrible guy. He enjoyed torturing you until he found out he had to clean it up. So his laziness makes him less horrible, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys do have a lot of fun with the... Uh, 
uh, the poop hole. There's a poop hole in the jail where you get a poop into a small fucking hole in the ground. And so one of you has to turn their back or not. It's totally up to you. While the other one poops or pees into this hole. And then you, there's like a little poop hole cover. But the poop hole is barely big enough. If you want to stick your head in there, you could get it in there. But the smell tells you you don't want to. And you don't know where it goes. And it's totally dark in the poop hole. Maybe but if you were if you were great at contortions, you could definitely fucking escape into the poop hole, and they'd have no clue. The guard, the guy that's tending to us, you have any idea where he sleeps? I don't think so, Logan. We didn't in mm -hmm. our various trips here. We didn't see him sleep. So yeah, we. we you're you're not even sure if this guy's a normal member of staff or if they had to bring him in to be the jailer just because of you guys. You, because we just lockpick gang. Yeah, the, the lockpick <laughs> gang caused him to fucking hire some dude. Um, oh, I suppose try something else just on the off chance. Oh, actually, let me check my card. No. no. But you might find that you might end up finding a room if you ever get uh, a way to wander around and explore shit. We can't yes. all turn into ghosts and go through the wall and then laugh at the jailer. No, no. We, if only Alex was here with us. That would be well. Then he'd be on the outside going, "You okay?" <laughs> Draw the bar and open the door. Oh no, it's a lock. It's a. It's, it's one of the big. You can almost get your pinky in the lock. The hole oh, okay. is so big. But uh, that's why this, if you were super good at like jerry rig lock picking, you could use spoons to, you know, the spoon handles to actually get out of here. These are not terribly modern at all. Um, yeah, it looks like it's, yeah. I, I, well, for we're bored, we're, oh, yeah, you, know, you got nothing else to do. Give it, give it a shot. Sure. Uh, give me a jerry rig roll to try to get less of a negative. To your lock picking. Lock picking. That's what I thought. So, no jerry rig? Great. Try lock picking to see what kind of fun you can have with it. As you jam the fucking spoon. If you make it by half, let me know. I don't think you're well, going to, but it'll be fun. Great. Everything's fine. You guys are still well, in the jail cell. Else, but... will, you know, every couple of hours Absolutely. we'll mess around with the lock with it. Sure, you can each have one more try. Your chance of it working is so low that I'm not even going to figure it out until you roll something oh. amazing. Oh. Wow. Nice. What's your lock picking there? Uh, you have at least a 12, 15 in it, yeah, something like that? Yeah, I made it, yes. Holy fuck, she picked the lock with the spoon. <laughs> you, you just stop and you look at it and you go, you are part of the lockpick gang. Yes. <laughs> well done. Right. Lockpick gang. Would you guys like to relock the door and sit quietly in your cells or wander around for a bit? Yeah, let's go for an explore. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see by the, uh, oh wait, no, you can't see that here. Hold on, now let me go to dungeon pictures because, you know, I anticipated that the PCs may be stuck in the dungeon for being fucking naughty as shit at some point because they're the PCs. So um, here are a few random sites and stuff that you can see in the dungeons. Give me, uh, actually, I don't, I'm going to see what you got. Yeah, I'm not even worried about the stealth rolls. Uh, you do discover the uh, 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 jailer's room further down, like around the corner, and it's a big, thick door, and it says, uh, home sweet home, you know, jailers do it from the bars or something like that, you know, things like that. So you're getting, as long as you don't go in there, you should be okay. Um, right. As far as the other stuff in the dungeons go, or as long as he hasn't come out. You do have a limited amount of time because eventually it'll be dinner time. They feed you two meals a day. Um, let's see. You do uh, find the cell that Yana was talking about before. Inside of the uh, cell, it looks as though somebody uh, used something like a spoon. It's the same kind of color and painstakingly scratched 
into the the wall a picture of a lighthouse oh mm. and it's a really realistic kind of picture uh give me essence times three rolls i'm wondering if that's what that ruined tower is mm, yeah me on too. the island no no so I just check and see if I had any cards that will help. Go, go, Joshua, get that. Uh, shit. Essence by one. Take a check in essence. It is definitely a fucking special thing. If you'd like, try to use it. All I need is a uh, three unbroken rounds of staring at it, and then a willpower times three roll, please. All right. If you shall, we uh, give it a shot. Yeah. Cool. Well, if you give me willpower times three. Uh, oh, Pete. Since you made your roll, you can also give me, before you do that, an Analyze Magic if you so desire. I so desire. And on I no made it. Magic. Well done, Yana. Amazingly. Right. Is it a, that's a will buy one for you, isn't it? Uh, what is it? Yes. Yana, you feel that it's... It, it's it's becoming more and more of a real place, no. and you might be able to just step yeah. Into it. I, it's not the ruined tower. It's somewhere else. Uh, Pete is just staying there next to you. <laughs> I go. Yana disappears in uh, a twinkling. As she goes through, I will yes. try and grab her hand. Give me a grapple roll and, and then see if works. I can get, see if I can go You're going to get it. a card for trying it. Whether you succeed or fail, Pete, you get a card. But go ahead yeah, and give yeah. me a grapple roll because Jan is like, fuck you, I'm out. And weep. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, grapple by thirty odd. Excellent, Yana. Somebody grabs your hand. <laughs> it's okay. It's just Pete. Yay! Right, and you and Joshua step through, and you are now somewhere else. One Ooh. moment, please. Did that cost any magic points? No. Um, uh, I will tell you for free though. It's a one-way trip. Ooh. Okay. Right. Ain't, ain't, ain't the ward, ain't the um, jailman warden gonna shit bricks now? Finding your cell door open, you guys gone? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Trying to look for us everywhere. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, the, you guys aren't really, really good prisoners or anything, so. Um... Okay. If you'll. Uh, Please open up your moment, where are we at? Uh, Gothic uh, post-apocalyptic San Angeles maps. Has I don't, I don't, have you been there previously? No, I don't ah. have it. Okay, hold on a minute. Go, go, drop box. Uh, God, I don't need that. Because I know Pete's been there, I believe. Yep. Uh, there it is. Share and copy link. And in the roll 20, boom. There you go, Yana. Mm -hmm. Ah, I wonder if that's oh. that place there. Did you find it already? Uh, lighthouse. Nice. And the beat near the lighthouse. You are correct. And. Yana, yeah, this is something you may need later. Mm -hmm. Joshua looks around. Uh, oh, shit. I got to give you guys more information here. I don't mm -hmm. think you were kids anymore. Checking. Um, yeah, that'd be yeah. Interest. That's, that'll be interesting, actually. That would be fucked up, yes. See, all right, well. Where is the lighthouse? Uh, if you look at the... Oh, the beach near the wine house? You are correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you guys are adults dressed in uh, with no hair and school kid uniforms. And mm. the uniforms have grown, I'm assuming, as per last Yes, week. yes. Does, Mildred, do you mm -hmm. have any tarot cards on you? Yes. Oh, have and you gained I... any extra tarot cards? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pete, take a card for reminding me. Thank you very much. Uh, let the good times roll. Let's see now. Uh, Yana's new cards. You ready, Yana? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you picked up the nine of wands mm -hmm. and the king, or sorry, the knight of cups. Okay. Nine of wands, knight of cups. <sighs> I suspect that however interesting I make uh, what happens when they get a full deck, uh, it will be a huge disappointment to whoever gets a full deck. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just, it's too slow and too much build up. It's like, no. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean I got a castle and a bunch of treasure? I spent fucking ever. I have three real life years, you asshole. It's true. Yeah. So, uh, right, Yana, a little bit on the uh, city. You remember the Crapsack Cyberpunk place where you guys blew up McDonald's and killed a bunch of innocent people for a couple hundred dollars? Yes. <laughs> Imagine that city, but instead of the, the buildings rising up all the way after about five or six floors, a lot of them are either sheared off, have broken off, some of the buildings have fallen, and then people are like, we can live here, and so on. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the buildings have like fallen into other ones, are leaning on them, and they're like, let's just strap these together. Yay! Mm -hmm. so, uh, and it, it's a weird, weird thing because they've got like uh, some of the, the um, shit, hold on, I'll show you pictures because I just realized who I was talking to. Um, let's see. Ah, I've already put you on yeah, the pictures. The pictures up there. Cool. Vehicles of San Angeles. That is examples of some of them there, Yana. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to the the various uh, roll cage uh, or uh, post-apocalyptic type vehicles, they also have handsome cabs, as you can see on the right-hand side, second picture down. Mm -hmm. A very common way to travel. They, they fit two people and then a driver on on top, so that's three people. If any of you guys learn how to drive a handsome cab, you can ferry around the other PCs. Won't that be special? And um, the street cars are horse-drawn. They even have stage coaches, but also uh, every now and then, sometimes you'll see like a fucking flying car go over, but all of the, uh, the vehicles like that emit kind of a white smoke thing that isn't smoke, doesn't smell. Um, and the city itself seems, especially since you're outside the city, it's almost like uh, steam vapors are rising up out of it, hearkening back to the London pea soup days. Yeah. Mm -hmm because that's extra cool but this this stuff isn't choking the shit out of you instead you have like tons of horse manure to enjoy great yeah people never talk about that but it pretty much clogs they they send groups of people out every day to try to deal with it or harvest it or recycle it or whatever but tons of it ends up getting stuck in the fucking gutters and then it causes the sewers to overflow because it's literally filled with horse shit. So let yeah. the good times continue on. Yeah. It's nasty. Mm. It, anytime you're dealing with that, that many animals, it's just horrifying. Yeah. So you watch where you step. But you guys are outside of the city, and uh, you do notice that in the lighthouse, there's like a little stove thing that comes out uh to let out the smoke and there's smoke coming out of it doesn't appear to be the same kind and it smells like cooking smoke mm. you can smell food being cooked on it mm. interesting so that's the lighthouse Um, you see a guy come over, look out the window of the lighthouse. He sees you guys. He's like an older guy, and he goes, <laughs> he goes back in. That was nice of him. Yeah. Um, the docks, is there any flags flying or any flags on the ships in dock? In dock? So what sort of, yeah, what sort of ships are in there in dock? Various. Uh, there are tons, tons of Oriental type sailors, a lot of Chinese vessels and stuff. Um, I don't, let's see, Genovia does not exist in this one. I believe you've already established, so no Genovian hey, said, ships. Yeah, but I was curious as to determine, well, that's the thing. I, I just want to 
double check whether which version because I there's potentially more than one version of Gothic San Angeles post apocalypse mm -hmm. San Angeles. So I'm this trying is to not work the one with Genovia, no. But I uh, you you do see ships with flags that you are not familiar with, which immediately triggers uh, a skill roll at your learn for both of you for uh, post apocalyptic um, uh, gothic heraldry rolls, please. Of course. <laughs> it's a common enough skill. I'm sure you put points in it during character generation. Of course. <laughs> no problem. Ah, uh, yeah, I have a half. Oh my fucking god! All right. Sorry. You, can you repeat what the hell that skill was? Uh, gothic post-apocalyptic uh, heraldry. Post apoc. <laughs> fucking Pete. Um, <laughs> Yeah, now you know flags and stuff like that of the, yeah. the nations. And that gives me a tick in learning. Yeah. And hold on, let me tell you about some of the nations that you somehow fucking know about. Um, yeah. Because... I'll, I'll, I'll point them out as I, as the as the information floods into me. No problem. I'm sure that when you do so, you can tell she really doesn't care. But... <laughs> What there'll she does care about afterwards. is... Hmm? I said there'll be a test afterwards. <laughs> One of the more interesting flags they have is the San Francisco flag. I okay. don't know what it is. I have not fucking designed the no, no, San Francisco right. flag. I mean, um, I'm sure it's spectacular, whatever it is. Um, there's the uh, a, fly, a flag on a smaller ship from a place called Monty. That you've not heard of. Um, let's see what it's else. M O N T E. M O N T Y. T Y. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Um, there's a flag with a stylized Santa Claus on it. That is from the town of Santa Claus. And let's see what else have you got. Um, I'm just checking all the nations that regularly trade with this. Is area. there and because some of the things I'm interested in is a if there's any European flags or any flags that may have been of a European background or any mm. flags of something like Westmead or those sort of places? No, not, none of those sort of places. I think the the furthest away stuff is uh, like the Far East. Like uh, there might be a Japanese flag, Chinese flag, something like that. Um, so are they actual, they appear to be like a Chinese flag or a Japanese flag that I think that's actually a Japan flag? Yeah. Or is it something Oriental but not? Oh no! It's it it. People love their fucking flags, and we'll keep. We would keep the fifty stars even if we lost a couple states because. Yeah. So, America. The reason I'm asking is I don't know whether or not China and Japan existed where in the place where Genova is. I wasn't one hundred percent sure if they existed mm. there or not. Uh huh. Yes, you're so too I'm smart trying to work out, for your own good. So I'm trying to work out if this is the place where Genova was, or if this is the place where Europe was. You're going to guess no Genovia here, but there's no European shit, possibly yeah, yeah, because you're on the wrong side of the country for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those Europeans are too lazy to sail all around the fucking Cape of Good Hope or try to go through the, uh, the, the Suez Canal, which may or may not be a living hellhole full of angry, angry people, if it even exists. Mm-hmm. A note to the PCs, if you want to get on any of the ships flying Asian flags, you can fuck right off. I'm not going to develop <laughs> post-apocalyptic Asian adventures at this time for you. Although, if you if you really want it done, you can put it up as part of a vote later. And then you can go fucking practice your goddamn Mandarin and Japanese and shit like that over there. That will be lots of fun, as the new people will not have taken these skills and have no clue for most of the time what's going on. The guy will be like, I'll be like, 
fuck. <laughs> I live here, but I don't understand you. Uh, after seeing a particular episode in Westworld, Yana and I were disappointed that we haven't seen a um, samurai version of San Angeles. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's so much shit that could be happening in this campaign that I do not feel I'm really in control of shit. I just try to make up as much as I can in some different areas and let you guys fucking pinball around in there for a while. But I can only keep so many fucking plots in my head at once. Mm -hmm. Then I have to go back and review my notes after writing for three months. And I'm like, let's see what happens. Fuck it, you know. <laughs> so there's plenty yes. to do in the areas I prepared. <laughs> but when, yeah, when that episode, when they turned up to the samurai equivalent town and that's so and so, that's so and so. Yeah. We, yeah, Wait, we sort did of. Yana actually fucking watch Westworld? Of course, yep. I watch Westworld. Oh I watch a lot of TV shows. I know it's surprising to you. <laughs> I, know, I, 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 I imagine you wearing fucking or watching subtitled uh, Czech shows. Uh, you know. No. Yeah. Czech yeah, shows you know. are stupid. <laughs> 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 they really cool. are. They are like the the like. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're watching Westworld because I've had some Westworld influences in the yeah. campaign from time to time that people may or may not have spotted. Yeah. That that Jap that samurai episode was really like had the vibes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, 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 definitely. Awesome. Like you just copied all the characters from your Western and just implanted <laughs> in the samurai world. Yeah, <laughs> that was some lazy, lazy writing, man. <laughs> no, but that was so true of what they would have done. Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so lighthouse, hit flags on the ship. Um, so, by the way, just so you guys know, there is like if you leave the city and go wandering around, I have outdoor maps. You don't get the outdoor maps, but I have plenty of outdoor, well, because they're a lot less confusing than the indoor maps. I mean, they've still got like a couple hundred different places on them and shit to go visit, but yeah, exploring the cities, the school outside of the school, outside of the cities, ready for it. Go for it. Have fun. All right. Lots inside and out. Does the lighthouse seem similar to the, like, to the tower on the island? In the Not city? at all. Uh, the I lighthouse know. is taller. It's a different dimension. I mean, all of them are basically big cylindrical things. Yeah. Lines, but, mm -hmm. Uh, that's pretty much as far as the similarities really go. Okay. Um, All right, so it's not the lighthouse in that that we're thinking that yeah. that tower is familiar about. Mm. And as you can see around you, there's some other stuff. There's fishing boats, the upside down ones and stuff that are fucking segregated well away from the metal rods and that are marking out different areas. You're not sure what the, well, maybe you are sure, maybe you're not sure. Uh, there's also a spot with uh, baskets impaled on posts and stuff. There's a lot of weird shit that you don't understand, but uh, you do notice that the beach, like areas of the beach, seem to be watched by different people. They're not really paying attention to you guys. You guys are hanging out over near near the lighthouse. And nobody seems to give a fuck. But it, it appears that if you go into like various roped off areas, they've almost made like an irregular grid over there with the various metal rods around jealously guarded territories. Um, yeah, there's people hanging out watching that shit. Like, stay off my fucking lawn. Mm. Uh, also, uh, Yana, you do notice that uh, from the very few people you can see from here, uh, a very large percentage of them have some sort of weapon on them. It's not the daggers only thing from Genovia, yeah. but like I'm wearing a fucking pistol or whatever. And just like the pistols at the school that the teachers wore, they look like the big um, uh, fake ray guns, like from mm -hmm. science fiction stories. Mm -hmm. They're like a plastic type looking thing. And you know from being at school that basically if you were to say as loud as you can, zap, that's how loud they are when they fire. And in between they're like, and to show it's on. Um, so they're not super quiet at all. They are a lot quieter. I mean, you can yell zap, zap, zap in an apartment building. Nobody outside of the apartment building will notice. So they're a lot quieter than regular pistols, mm -hmm. but they're still 
pretty fucking noisy. Okay. Plus, of course, trying to sneak up on somebody while your pistol's going. Aah! It's like, God damn it. I think yeah. somebody may be sneaking up on me with a pistol. Did it happen to you last uh, when we, some, we, I remember that sometimes we woke up in the like, kind of gothic clo clothing uh, on the roof last season or something? Are they in Night City? Mm. I wonder if you... like, there was, there like, there, there aren't some like, uh, crossovers. Parallel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, possibly, yeah. No, um, I never had that happen to me, but mm -hmm. I know I was aware that it happened to you and some of the other people. Yeah. Um, that was when you were getting was when you were getting hunted by the replicants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Before you got your girlfriend. Yes, it was yeah. a sad time. Mm. That was before I entered into this weird uh, lands. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah. I have am vaguely I have vaguely heard about it. Okay, mm -hmm. now assuming this is the same place, which I suspect it will be, um, I have a change of clothes near where the gate comes out, mm -hmm. and a little bit of money so we can get you some clothes. Cool. And then at night we'll then be able to go and get more money. Mm -hmm. And then we can get guns if you want to get guns. Okay. If what you, kind of money-making scheme do you have here? <laughs> um, nothing. It's called we went to other realms that we have contacts in ah. and established things. So the um, Alex Kinley's um, airship, mm -hmm. the people from the, the MMO land that yes. came through to Burlington, uh huh. Yeah. They they had been they've been doing a lot of stuff. So they've been oh. mining gold and all sorts of things. So they gave us ten kilos of gold. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, they gave it to Alex, and you know what Alex yeah. is like with money. <laughs> so, so yes. So I've got cool. um five kilo of gold. Nice. I also don't use money, by the way. So just for yes, I do. I do. I do remember that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, cut, it cuts to an extremely old Aerosmith going, woman with no names got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, right. right. Where, where do you head to? All right. So I'm assuming it is morning or middle of the day or something. Uh, yeah. Middle, middle of the day. Um, yeah, you guys are looking like uh, refugee school children who fucking stayed in class way too long, got held back way too many years, which oh, no. might have happened to Yana if you didn't get her out of there. <laughs> so we're going to end up at Lamburn Hall and just walk into the Helton as if we should be there. Lamburn and Hall. Into, and into the smoking room. Excellent. Uh, in order to... Uh, uh, make it convincing uh you may either walk uh roll some sort of specialized walking skill or acting uh to just swagger in there past everybody uh because otherwise you know a guy and a girl dressed as school kids come into like the second ritziest hotel in town what happens next however if you have mosey or acting or something like that you can go for it um i, can't remember I don't think mosey. i have yes i do have mosey oh my gosh and yana why didn't you buy mosey for your character i know i was stupid so I was... <laughs> you wanted to drive cars instead look right yes. <laughs> but I, I, will, I think <laughs> <laughs> she is doing the stupidest 
Dan Block you've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> look, at look at me, look at me. Uh, and the, this is actually bringing out the fucking concierge who is now striding towards you guys as Yana uh, uh, knocks over something that looked expensive. <laughs> uh, hello, may I help you? He says. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, she's distracting him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm curious going. where this is going. Thank you. Uh, okay, give me a, uh, a stealth roll uh, at full P because he, he's like, ah, it's why they did deal with the insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I have. Okay, no problem. Uh, he, he's summoning over a couple of guys to uh, evict you from the hotel or offer you a job as a dancer. You're not really Ooh. sure which, Yana. <laughs> I didn't do it. I see evicting yeah. you thinking so you grab your arms and begin taking you toward the door. That I'm was one of the Look, <laughs> big gang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. Pete, uh, you, you get changed and uh, pick up some supplies and stuff. Uh, right. Yana, give me a luck roll at full to see if uh, they just eject you or if they call in some of the uh, numerous patrols of this area of town <laughs> to take you into a different dungeon so you can feel at home. I made it. Hooray. They, have, they, they just say, don't come back in or we'll get the guards. Don't worry. I'm used to this. They they decide to stand there so that you don't go back in. <laughs> la la la! I dance away. <laughs> no problem. Give me a dancing roll. This Ooh. may turn into something better. Um, no. No. Great. Uh, you uh, load up with gear and stuff, and then go walking out. Uh, they don't really notice you because everybody's concentrating on uh, will she make it back in past these dudes. All right. Apparently having a giant distraction going on while you're trying to get into shit makes life a little easier. Yes. All right. This will cause Yana to think about it and then blow up part of the hotel before you come back. <laughs> <laughs> the yells and screams make her happy as she goes and tries to get into it, not knowing what she's after or exactly. why. <laughs> right. Uh, Pete comes out. He's dressed in rugged clothing, like uh, he's some sort of trailblazer guy. Yeah. I stop dancing and slowly walk away. Peachy, or Peachy's uh, fleeing from you very slowly at this point. I will walk quicker to catch up with her. Damn, um, he's cutting you question, down. Question, the haberdashery, is that actually open currently? Yes. They sell hats. New word for you, Yana. Haberdasher is a hat seller. Mm. The door the that the the door that's there at night. Oh, that's the when it's side door, sir. Yeah. Ah, that's what I wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah, that 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 door is not doing shit, but you can go yeah, by yeah. that. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I wasn't too sure if it was the front door of the haberdasher that was also you getting, as in people were going through the store, or if it was a side store. Side door. Ah. That's why I just wanted to clarify. Oh. All right. Um. Now let me just side door. Double check side door. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, so we've got so that's fourteen hundred. All right. So Mildred, I'm just clarifying how much money I've actually got yeah. in regards to buying stuff. Joseph right, digging so through his pouch. Ha ha ha. <sighs> You're in the ritzy area of town. Yeah. Right. Or at least one of the ritzy areas of town. Lamborn Hall. So where's the clothing prices? Fine. Presential suite. No, fine. Would probably be that. Oh, beautiful. So if we got that for 30 days. I probably couldn't do it for 30 days. Um, all right. Let's go and get you some clothes. I just saw the haunted vagina hotel. 
<laughs> yeah, a classy place. You never guess who wanted to go there as soon as you noticed. As it. Soon as I noticed. <laughs> yeah, of course. So great. Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting businesses to explore in this place. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you have to explore them all, but you might get some sort of medal if you do. <laughs> yeah, collectibles. Uh, where the hell is it? Sorry, I'm just trying to find the clothes prices because I can't remember how much the good clothes are. Do control F and look for uh, clothing. Oh, of course. Yes, that would make sense. I put it in a text file so you could do it easy. There we go, clothing. Uh, fancy is 350 yeah, That's pretty expensive. So two sets of fancy clothes would blow out the money. Nice. There aren't a lot of, uh, only in this, uh, in the area of town that you find yourselves, do people wear fancy clothes. Also, people who drive either a flying car, definitely fancy clothes, or or like, well, some sort of like uh, theme fancy clothes. Like I'm a World War One pilot fancy clothes or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Most people wear the more rugged clothes and stuff. But yeah, is there, shit is there, there's nothing really halfway in between, like maybe like business attire or ones that aren't like sort of over the top, or is Not it pretty really. much rugged or fancy? Uh, yeah, the the it, it's a post-apocalyptic society, so most people are kind of scrounging for shit unless they are fancy, fancy people. I mean, you could do the post-apocalyptic look where you've got like the tie with the burn hole in it, and it's kind of off kilter, and you're wearing a vest from a different suit and all that kind of <laughs> shit with that top hat. That that's you know you could kind of do that, but you do look like a freak. So most people go with the rough clothing. The fancy clothes here, what do they look like? They look like uh, they were held over for like a uh, hundred plus years or made like by hand by people with actual good skill. All right. So if we went and got some suits or decent clothes from the 21st century, would they fit in here is what I'm trying to work out. Uh, yes, take a card. That is a way to get around their amazingly high price for that shit. Uh, yeah, you could totally do that. I mean, rough clothes right. will work uh, most places for now, but, you know, uh, even got a school uniform, if you were to uh, add some uh, different accoutre, well, actually, no, here I wouldn't wear the school uniform. Yeah. They have guards and shit. Yeah. You know? It's all right. So this is what I'm thinking, Mildred. We'll get mm -hmm. you just some rugged clothes, mm -hmm. what, what sort of like what I'm wearing first. We'll go to Clem's. We'll go get our credit cards. Mm -hmm. We'll go get some decent clothes. Mm -hmm. Then we'll come back here with the decent clothes in a, in a carpet bag type thing. That way, because mm -hmm. I need to show you where the other gate is, just so yeah. in case we get separated, so you know how to get to it. Okay. And if we're in painted clothes, we can then also get a couple of rooms at, at the hotel. Cool. So they're not going to complain about us coming and going. Okay. Let's do that. Right. So we you, pretty much do that, Logan. Right. Uh, you guys go into the clams. Hey, what can I do for you? Where are you going back to? Boom. And you are back to red carpet. You said credit card, so I figured red carpet, yeah? Yes, exactly right. Do you have any cap money on you this time? Yes, I do. Oh, this is that nice of you. Mark off 50 bucks. Cab takes you guys to your mansion. You get there. They're just I say to I say to Mildred, wait uh -huh. in the car. I'm just nicking in to get your my credit cards, all right? Right. If your girlfriend is here, I'll let you know, but wait in the car. Right. I'll be in and out. I Bye. get out of the car. <laughs> because the servants are still freaked out. Mrs. Parapet uh -huh. is still freaked out about what she found in the basement. That's why. The cab driver twists around and looks at you and goes, <laughs> I don't think she's she in, should she, wait in the car, sir. She's into <laughs> fetish art, okay? She's, oh, uh, oh. Don't, don't, don't you recognize her from the TV shows and the movies? He looks at her. He tries to make his uh, popular culture role a really low skill. He goes, you're from Handy. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Oh, fuck. Okay, I made in the car. Thank you. He asks you a bunch of questions and wants your autograph and shit like that, Yana. No, <laughs> no, I don't. Come like on, that. come on. Oh, yeah, it's for my kid. 
I sign it. That's great. Right. You go in and you hear arguing voices. Sir, I do not know where. Listen, boy, check. Unless we get them to the studio right now to start shooting, all this is going to go away. But, sir, I cannot give you, says Jim, what I do not have. And you recognize it's your fucking agent. He's here. Yeah. Hey, Jim. Hey, Elliot, as I walk by. Oh, it's like, <laughs> oh, at last, there you are. Where's the rest <laughs> of the gang? We've got to go now. Otherwise, you're going to um, get fucking fired. I think, I think they're still in Israel. Oh, God. So it's just you? And Mildred. Good enough. Let's go. We got two of the three. Let's go. Hang on a second. I just got to get, get, get our wallets. Get our wallets. Where's Wallet Mildred? And Where's Mildred? And you hear Mildred from outside. him. And Jim goes, oh, God. And he runs out of the room. Yep. <laughs> right. They, um, they're, they're probably still on the pilgrimage we went on to the Holy Land, Jim. Uh, sorry, um, Elliot. Right. Uh, let's see, Yana, give me a luck roll at four. Uh oh. Um, luck. Yes. Oh no. Just... No. Got it. You you see you see Mrs. Parapet. She she comes around the corner and she's like clipping bushes and she looks up and sees you and her eyes roll up in her head and she does the fucking <laughs> stiff body topple backward. You can't see her behind the bushes and you hear and you see Jim running out of the house going, "Where where are you?" <laughs> And he goes, no! <laughs> and then him and Elliot come rushing out. Elliot's like, hey, hey, hey. And he throws money at the cab and he opens up your door. He goes, go, come, come, come on, come on, what, you gotta what? go. Red, what? Come what? on, get in my car over here. No, I'll drive. No. I'll no. drive. You can drive. We gotta go. No. You you can sit in the trunk. He'll be fine. Come on, we gotta go. Red. Why? Go to the studio. Yeah. No. Yes, we gotta go. We're shooting. I'm not moving. He tells the cab driver to take him to the studio. <laughs> I was gonna say, why don't we just get in the cab? <laughs> I'll follow you. Uh, I'll follow you, says oh. Elliot. Right. All right. He throws money at the cab driver. Cab driver barely allowed you to get in the cab. Um, and Elliot made, is holding Mildred's door shut, and then the cat takes off and he staggers after. He goes, I'll meet you there! And then, right, cut to the studio. We, we're going to do, we're gonna have to do this, Mildred, just to keep, uh, okay. just to keep this, this source of resources going. See what happens when I wait in the car? Yeah, well, I've, yeah, just unfortunate. Uh, Yana, reduce your hand back down to six, please. Okay. You said shit earlier, so you got cards. And hey, right, let's knows, go. Maybe we'll, who knows? Maybe. Oh, sorry. What you get? Equalization. Oh yeah, no. Well, all your stats are low, so now that helps, right? <laughs> Learning goes down. Yeah, if you're ever curious about the death penalty, you can ask Yana about that, Pete. She went through it once as they all looped up naked to get into yes, us. And I know them. Alex has gone through it as well. Yeah. yeah. That's one of my that's one of my little treasured memories. It's like, have you ever told the party wipeout? They looped up naked so they can all get in the suicide booth together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all killed ourselves. <laughs> Great. All right. We're at the studio. I was waiting until she reduced her hand because basically I'm going to compress. Um, it, it ends up being three 15 hour work days into one horrible bunch. So, both of you guys give me an acting role, please. Mm -hmm. Ooh, actually, As you are shooting an entire season of Handy and yeah. three fucking nightmares. There we go. Role. I play acting oh. plus 20. Mm -hmm. oh, I great. made it. Nice. And that'd Is be that a grid, Yana? I don't have anything in acting, so... Are I you have... kidding me? How the fuck did you get on a TV <laughs> show, Yana? <laughs> I, I always, like, didn't try. I see. Well, apparently you've gotten much better from doing nothing at all. That's the American dream. Yeah. <laughs> and I That's make my acting role role as well. Excellent. And both of you guys give me mm, uh, memory roles to remember your fucking lines. 
Hang on a second. No. I just got to check something. You do uh, a lot. That's of right. Prepare for Chinese Fury. Wow. Take a card for remembering your catchphrase. Yana, do you remember your catchphrase? No chance. That's the, you failed your uh, memory roller, so that all works. Yeah. <laughs> and a mic memory as well. Excellent. And let's see what else. Uh, mimicry rolls to do any kind of accents and stuff like that. They they have an episode where uh, Yana's personality gets trapped in the computer and they want her to talk more electronic. She's like, I'm talking electronic. And they're like, God damn it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm a great actor. I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. <laughs> You, you, people believe that you're really in the computer, but the, the computer itself is too good for this show. <laughs> so, and, and um, occasionally it says something like, why am I in the fucking computer again? You know, and people are like, ah, God damn it. <laughs> you want a crescent moon knives or a war fan roll? Oh, yes, please. Do you have any special stuff you get to roll, Yana? No. <laughs> cool. Uh, and last, the last roll will be your guy's talent roll to see if your natural talent shines through. It makes people want to cut off your heads. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Warfan. I've got to bet that one for a Warfan. Oh, none of those. I would love and... it if Pete's fucking Warfan skill was high enough that he started carrying him around and shit and he went to the it, Orient. And one like, day... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if it gets, if I ever make the roll, yes. <laughs> uh, talent. Did you make your talent roll, Yana? No. You guys are talentless hacks. Yes. I made my acting roll, though. We both made yeah. our acting rolls. Yeah. And so you, you, you do a workmanlike, competent thing and essentially shoot a whole season in a few days, which is pretty much a nightmare. You're, you're running on very little sleep. Uh, they keep alcohol away from Yana. They try to convince Aww. her that like stimulants are alcohol, and so she's all fucking jittery and shit. She's like, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's nightmarish time that slows you down several days, but eventually you get through it. And the, you made you made at least your acting role, so the studio can't bitch too much. Mm -hmm. They, they they do tell uh, uh, the woman with no name that they will begin uh, having people sit down with her to help her remember her lines. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, yeah. That means longer days, basically. Uh, and more failed roles and then longer days. Yeah. So, anyway. My, they still own you. Hmm. My girlfriend isn't there, I assume. You are correct. Yeah. Nobody has seen or heard from her. I tried to call, call her. Okay. That is a clever idea. I didn't think you'd think of just using a phone. Take a card. I thought you'd be like, we must go to Israel and search the country. <laughs> and I was actually um, completely unprepared did, for going to Israel. Do you know, Mildred, if Doc gave one of the inter... Actually, I think he did. I think the one that he had for Alex may have gone to your girlfriend. What? Our, our, our special phones, our special wrist phones. Oh, I'm not sure, I think but... he did. I think he did. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think so. Yeah. There's right, no so... answer on either phone, though, no. uh, as far as her personal phone or the intergalactic reduce your hand by one phone. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all right, let, let's get in touch with... What is her name? This the studio exec. Actually, we've got Ooh. two people we can talk to. Ooh. Um, I'll just sorry, I'm just gonna have to check my notes. Uh, ass, ass, ass. Where are you? You're looking for dad ass, huh? Yep. <laughs> Best yeah. acronyms ever for the All Seeing <laughs> Sisterhood. Ass. Yep. <laughs> This is why they, they don't have a group named that, to the best of my knowledge. Mm. Well, like the, that's why they call it the Screen Actors Guild instead of the Film Actors Guild. Mm. Yeah. Uh, red carpet, 
Goldstein. This is where notes really pay off their studio audiences. Pete goes through a fucking big book of notes. Who uh, the fuck is this bitch? SD Bloomingfell. Wow, take a card for good notes. You get no card, Yano. <laughs> so anyway, now if you <laughs> held up a picture and said, this is her and it looked like her, I'd give you a fucking card. Yeah. For that, I know you hadn't drawn her. Yeah. Some old, old and bittered woman. Right. Uh, yeah, she actually works out of the Bobcat office here. You request a right. meeting. The studio exec. Yes. She she will meet with you. She is a bit surprised to see you, but she will meet with you. And she goes, you must have heard. I'm so sorry. Please have a seat. Uh, no, we haven't, but perhaps uh, we're here, which... Perhaps, oh, then everything's uh, fine. Come on in. Would you like some coffee? The what we're here is related to whatever it is that you're I understand. About. Well, it, it, this affects the young lady more than... Uh, uh, here, take this thermos full of matzo ball soup. It uh, will help. What? What's happening? Please tell me. Well, so how did I you don't get know pregnant? how to... It's all, it's a mystery to me, but something happened because they had the, the, the ritual and she became human, but something inside of her what? was broken. She was, she was human before we went to Israel. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, they, they, did the, they did the ritual and something inside of her was dark and twisted and eventually it grew like a cancer. I told her that you have more... Uh, matzo ball soup, but apparently matzo ball soup cannot cure that kind of cancer. Normal cancer can cure, but not that kind. And she became dark and twisted, and she started hanging out with a young guy, and it's not clear whether they were romantic or whether what? he took, tried to take advantage of her, but then she killed him. And several of the sisterhood as well. What? She disappeared. Come, wait a minute, what are you talking about? And then she set fire to the area that I, I'm telling you what happened. You wanted to know what happened. Well, are you telling me that she was hanging out with some guy and well, something happened? Yeah, but we don't and know then what. she became pregnant. We're, we're not sure how that happened. Why didn't you like pay more attention? We were giving her space. She'd been through a lot of dramatic changes. You don't understand what you are dealing with. Apparently not. Uh, it's amazing how fast she learned how to sword fight and everything. She became quite a terror, but we didn't think she would turn against us and then leave after killing a few of the members. The sisterhood is in disarray. You need to, like, you need so, to explain better. So I'm after she was initiated into the sisterhood, it okay. took time. It, it, after months, then these things started happening. So, doesn't White know? Can White shed some light on what's going on? White doesn't really talk, to the best of my understanding. I'm not part of the sisterhood myself, but you know, my cousin Estelle, she's been in it for a long time, and we talk. We are like this. Hence, she actually helped co-sign for my car when I was a kid. We've always been close. You, you screwed up badly, you know. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. I'm you just didn't telling pay you what attention. happened. What? You didn't she's, pay she's attention. Just, she, she, she's, in, she's here in San Angeles. It's the people in Israel that screwed up. Right. <sighs> Although people S in Israel, you know, it's a whole foreign SD country. System. Esty's just a messenger in this instance, unfortunately. Well, that's right. You're not going to get any. You're not going to get any satisfaction out of skin, out of killing and skinning the messenger. That's right. Listen to him. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but I need to kill and skin somebody. How am I able to deal with this situation? Uh, everybody's been killed and skinned already, as far as I know. Had anything to do with it? Fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry. Is there any, is there, uh, what was her name? Oh, pe people have been looking for her. She is, uh, we have friends in Interpol and such, and even in the, the, uh, the internal security of Israel, of course, 
we've been looking for, but unable to find her. As near as we can tell, something just snapped. We need to find her immediately. Okay. Well, the police from uh, Interpol have been looking for her for several months. They have come up with no leads. My guess is she'll resurface when she wants to and not before. But until then, oh, she Joshua, is quite a spitfire. Joshua, when did you saw her last? When, when you did. You saw her. When okay. you did. And then when she... we left, when we went to Israel and yeah. she went into the um the temple or whatever that we weren't allowed to go in and yeah. underwent the ritual okay how that did you even leave thought. israel we thought we'd be flying you back but we didn't mm -hmm. um white didn't explain that white doesn't really talk fucking white i will <laughs> kill this white <laughs> um she says <laughs> okay. so i know White has talked to Alex, for example. Well, that's talking and then that's talking. Yes, yes, we don't yes. Get a lot true, of talking. Yeah. Um, all right. So, you know, something that helps me out. Mm. She, so she, yeah, I'm really curious about that. What helps you out? That would be really, really helpful. Yes, I'm listening. I take up knitting. Fuck you. <laughs> She hangs her head. She's like, look, there's no reason to be mean about it. I'm very sorry about I'm, this, but there was nothing I can do. I'm just telling you what happened. I'm not mean right now, okay? I'm very calm right now. So, like, she looks at you good. As you can understand, she's a little upset. All right. I, I will let this go then, of course. Um. All right. Is uh, do you know if Daniel Garrett is about? I I don't know. She's not here. Obviously, is she there? Maybe I don't know. All right, so she's not at the embassy. She's not working here at the embassy at the moment. Uh, there's very few of uh, the the sisterhood. They have a large territory to work in, and of mm. course, some of them are still out looking for her because. Yeah, you know, they they try to keep better track. I have no idea why or how or any of that. I'm sorry. I I made call I tried to find out as much as I could when this happened, young lady. She mm -hmm. pats your hand and then <laughs> withdraws her hand because you're angry with her. <laughs> Look, if anything comes up, I of course will call you or your staff. Let them know as soon as I do. But until then, uh, she she's apparently she's skilled at disappearing. We have no idea what her background is or anything like that. But yeah, she doesn't want to be found. She doesn't want to be found. Yes, she's skilled in many things. I'm going to have a drink. Goodbye, I leave. Wait, All your right. matzo ball soup. I don't care. You want some matzo ball soup? It's still warm. Uh, sure, thank you. There you go. <laughs> You're okay, boy chick. I, she's, she's got quite a temper on her, much like her girlfriend. They seem a lot yep. alike to me. Yep. <laughs> well, they're, they're, you know. they're, a, um, they're two peas in a pod. I see. Uh, she she uh, says, let's exchange phone numbers in case we find out anything, we can contact each other. Sure. Where have you been anyway? Uh, We've been trying to reach you for like months. Um, hmm, that's interesting question. How much do you know about us and White, etc.? 